I've been comparing Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth to Persona 3 Reload lately, because those are like the two main games I've been playing. And let me be clear, <laughs> I sound like Obama. I, uh, <laughs> that, one, that one got me. I love both series. Like, I adore both series. I've been playing Yakuza for pff, damn near four years now. And I've been playing Persona since middle school. So I love both series. But I'm not going to lie. I feel like Infinite Wealth is kind of off to a really slow start. Now, no spoilers, but I believe I'm at Chapter 4. I just made it into District 5. And... I think certain things in the story are interesting. Um, I don't want to spoil anything. There was a early on reveal. That's all I'm going to say. If you played the game, you know. That happened. That was... That I unfortunately got spoiled uh, through a trailer. Which was stupid. But that was an interesting plot development. But I'm not going to lie, dude. Like, playing Infinite Wealth. Like, I I'm enjoying it. I just think the combat is off to a bit of a slow start, not gonna lie. I, I just feel like the pacing of Infinite Wealth's combat is a little slow, whereas Persona 3 Reload's combat is a lot snappier. I never once thought I'd be saying Persona 3 had fast combat, but that's just how I feel. Like, I've been banging out Persona 3 Reload, like, I'm already, like, 12 hours into it, where it took me, like, two weeks to get 12 hours into Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. So, yeah, I'm not hating on Infinite Wealth. I am enjoying it. I love seeing these characters again. But I've also been really enjoying Persona 3 Reload, and I love seeing these characters again as well. So maybe chalk it up to just poor release timing. I think Atlas should have spaced these out a bit. Though I'm not sure what the kind of audience exposure, or like the audience. I don't know how shared that audience is. Like a Dragon and Persona. They're both turn-based RPGs, so it's got to be kind of similar. But all I'm saying is I feel like Persona 3 Reloads had a faster start. And Persona is like the king of slow starts. Persona 4, Persona 5, those games have incredibly long tutorials. But now that I think about it, yeah, Persona 3's intro was pretty, pretty quick. So who knows? 